Man, this week and the previous week, I haven't had a lot of chance to ride, which is really unfortunate. Today, I try to go for a bicycle ride, mountain bike ride, but the area was way too wet. Okay, I think I'm going to turn around. My shaft drive is not leaking anymore, and my fork seal is not leaking anymore. You know what I did? I took a piece of plastic and I just slid it inside the, the fork in the hopes of getting whatever debris and I think what happened is that while riding uh, off-road I must have gotten some sort of sand particle or whatever in there and then it got lodged that's usually how the fork seals uh, do start leaking I did miss riding this bike so comfortable so fast Hey, look at this. Look at the gas. This is the cheapest gas station. It is $3.35. That's the cheapest gas. It's just incredible. How did it go up so much? Yeah, lots of debris on the road. That's funny. That little bump when I hit it at speed with a lot of bikes I get kind of thrown but on this one it's so compliant that it doesn't really feel like it's done anything yes I know where I'm at I bought the Elite 150 here at a farm here really large house on top of this hill that's what I want I want to be on top of a hill in a mansion so I could shoot at people coming up that's the way you strategically place yourself so a zombie invasion like you can like hit those zombies like crazy just like shoot them off boom 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 you know if you go to Europe you'll know right away why they place the castles on hilltops it's uh, strategic in case zombies take over the castle and this bike is just so comfortable that I'm already like near Ellicott City and normally if I was to ride like a small bike you could feel it already already by the time you got there but this thing is just so unbelievably comfortable the way I sit on it is just probably one of the most comfortable I've ever been on a bike but I have not done any serious long rides on it just yet and yeah you know, I've gone to West Virginia and the usual stuff but I plan on doing like a long ride this year last year I could have done it why didn't I I don't know I guess less money I think I have less money now a little chilly already I'm glad I left my nice hippo hands on this these things are so good to have guys there still be some snow on the grass the further north that you went so the traffic coming the opposite way is coming from mostly like Washington and Fort Meade and people tend to live out in the outskirts here the outskirts is where I really like riding so these are all the people that go daily into DC into Baltimore because currently we're very close to the right in the middle we're in Howard County I believe which is <clears throat> it's just a little bit less expensive than Montgomery County so it's one of these places that's very affluent but these are the people that go and work in DC they're contractors a lot of them work for the government around this area the big ballers are contractors that work for the government man I wish I used some heated grips or whatever it's gotten pretty chilly I think that's what I like about this bike it's that the way it delivers power is very tractor like and it's very rideable even in the highest power setting it still feels like very manageable yeah the season as most of the bike life guys say is upon us that's right all of a sudden all of these guys that 
were saying that they ride every single day are going to be out riding. Oh, that's a uh, Earthship style house right over there. I think it's very, very interesting. Yeah, they're all going to be here riding, mostly on the Beltway or highways at high rates of speed going in and out. And just the other day, that was a guy that died on a motorcycle because it was a weird 70 degree day and then this is what happens when it's the beginning of the season riders will go balls out forget that they are rusty and just go kill themselves this one guy died because he was drinking at a bar i don't know what makes these guys go to bars and drink and then go ride a, a motorcycle I have no idea, especially around the DC area where everybody's an alcoholic. You know, Fridays and Saturdays stay out of the road. Stay, stay out of the road at night when there's all of these people out that are drunk. Such a terrible time to be on the road. But this guy went to drink at a bar, came back, boom, died. He hit some car. But I just wanted to caution you guys that every single season when the weather becomes good people they just start dying they start going way too fast way too early and then they hit cars they run into buses they just explode I mean, there was a guy last year that was running from the police he was running on 95 North, ran from the police, the cop didn't chase, he went into Maryland, and then he, a couple of minutes later, went back south on 95, the same cop chased him, and then he let go, the cop stopped the chase, and eventually this guy, they have a dash cam footage, it was a rear, uh, rear facing dash cam footage of the guy, hitting a semi truck exploding igniting flying over the semi and then hitting a toyota pickup truck so that's uh that's what we have to look forward to in this area and it's always like around the major highways i'm gonna blast this one this bike is like an electric bike it's got plenty of power to, to do that the car behind me made it he's so far away but yeah, like when you are getting back into riding, guys, just do yourself a favor and ride slowly for your first month. Actually, maybe like, I guess, just one month. Don't go balls out every time there's like a really nice day of weather. That is the temptation. You want to like go around some corners, you want to have some fun. But the problem is that the road doesn't care and cars don't care if you're just starting out riding you want to make sure that you are your skills are up to par with the time see that's the thing i think you can reduce your risks of dying with just a few steps for example avoid riding in the city and if you have to ride in the city be predictable you want to make sure that cars know what you're doing don't do the in and out thing that's such a silly game because you're being unpredictable riding too fast for the amount of traffic another thing that you should avoid is riding on friday nights and saturday nights because those are the most dangerous times when people are out drinking nothing good ever comes after midnight nothing good I, i've seen so many things happen i think the only person i've ever known that has died in a motorcycle was this guy i rode who had a um, ducati panigali and the guy kind of hated me but i don't know why i think i was telling him online that riding on the track was a little overrated and he's a was a track monkey and he came to ride with me and you could tell that he was very upset like you i've ridden with guys before who get upset at me online because i said something that they don't agree and then they just sulk and that's what he was doing but this guy was riding i think at two in the morning some lady 
some drunk lady hit him completely her fault he went off road and he hit like a pole or something and that's something that's probably like the closest I've seen anybody die from a motorcycle but there's groups of riders that they seem to know like everybody that has died like oh yeah my buddy yeah he died and like I've heard a lot of that but I haven't really met anybody that has died from a motorcycle accident I mean I've heard of people having close calls but I think there's a subset of riders that really enjoy taking risks and I'm not one of them I like to um, kind of issue out my madness in small doses that way it's not like uh, I run out of karma points you know I just like to be a little bit more controlled I like the taking risks but a little bit at a time hey lady no that lady kind of looked at me uh, I don't like that nowadays everybody oh cabinets are those cabinets I'm gonna have to come back for those things if you're riding at night you have so much less time to react to obstacles on the road you know I've done it people like to think that oh yeah you're a wuss for not wanting to ride at night well first of all I've probably ridden at night more than the person that's you know complaining but I also know the risks like I've hit things at night that I wish I didn't hit you want to be riding for another day don't want to be one of these people that gets carried away with the speed and then ends up getting hurt and never be able to ride again you want to ride to ride another day it has a bad reputation mainly because of a few people but most of the riders I've ever ridden with have been extremely safe the guys that I don't like riding with who are like kind of douchey oh wait a minute I know another guy that uh, did die I mean I barely knew him but I met him once this was kind of weird like he we, we rode it was a good ride it was like a sport bike ride this guy was like extremely um, boisterous and uh, we went to High Rock and on the way back these guys are like hey let's go to the waterfront and I'm like what waterfront they were talking about going to the inner harbor of Baltimore <clears throat> so a friend of mine actually went with these guys and I'm like eh, that doesn't sound like fun going into the city being around a bunch of lights nah not for me I'll, I'll commute so a friend of mine went with them and apparently this guy was saying that it was like a video game it's like going in and out of traffic just like darting and this is the way a lot of people ride so a week later we found out that this guy died but <clears throat> you know some people have that weird mentality of riding like if they get on a motorcycle they're gonna just go balls out I am glad that I never felt that way like I feel like to me riding it's about helping my brain like just because I I've been very poor all my life and motorcycling the quality of life that you get of just like touring and visiting places it's a rich rich type of mentality that you get and you can still be poor and get the same kind of mentality that a rich person would by visiting different places and you would still be able to see everything up close so my mentality for motorcycle riding is a little bit different I like to go on different roads and like ride them fast but I feel more like a tourist like I like to taste roads you know like how people like to eat food their foodies for me I like to taste roads I mean not like crashing and tasting them I'm talking about enjoying roads you know I've ridden in Switzerland at the whatever pass and everywhere in between in Europe and it feels like you're really learning a lot about their their culture that's the 
type of culture I want to learn anyway. I don't really care about their food. I mean, I eat them food in Switzerland. It's disgusting. The Swiss are horrible cooks. Ugh. And expensive. Oh my lord, they're so expensive. Everything in Switzerland is so expensive. Oh my god. It's horrible. No wonder people that live in Switzerland go shop in France and Germany. Oh my god, it's so expensive. But anyway, beautiful. Switzerland is so beautiful. It's like uh, the European version of Colorado. I'm stuck here. The cops won't bother me.